you for the long run. 16 miles, moderate effort. Let's see how I feel. Uh, 7 a.m. I'll talk to you guys afterwards. Okay guys, that run did not go like you expected. I was aiming for 16 miles, moderate pace. That ended up being a 14 mile run at a moderate effort. You know, I went by effort. I'm not really trying to focus on the actual pace I'm going right now, but you know, the feel of it. You know, I got um, a half marathon coming up. So after that, I'll get, I'll see where my fitness is at, then work on specific pace. But today that all kind of went out the window. I got in about halfway and it hit about 80 degrees and usually I'm pretty good with that, you know, but today it kind of caught up with me. Um, yesterday I did a <clears throat> 10 miler in the heat just as well, so I think that kind of played into it. Uh, that was a little draining yesterday, a little more draining. Yesterday was my dog that kind of gave out yesterday, um, but then today it was me, you know, today it was me, you know, and that happens sometimes, you know, that always happens. Not, you know, it's very, 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 very rare that somebody will go through training where they don't have a bad run like this. They don't have um, something like this pop up. But um, as long as you learn from it and you know that it doesn't, it doesn't make or break your whole training plan. You know, um, you know, good training never goes as planned. You know, if everything goes as planned during training, and you know, sometimes you expect the race to be easy, just like how training was. Everything goes, is clicking along, but a lot of times you'll hit a point in the race where it's harder than you thought. And these runs like this, like today, you kind of think back on those and you remember, you know, I still made it, you know, I still made the effort. I'm, I have been there before in my head. I know how it feels to be out there running in the heat. I know how it feels to be low on energy. I know that feeling, so I've been there before, okay? So these things happen, these things happen, you know, uh, the thing I learned about this was that uh, I probably shouldn't have um, run as far yesterday and I probably should be waking up early here on these morning runs. You know, I'm not heat training, you know, I'm not supposed to be, you know, I'm not really training for Havilene 100. I usually do the Havilene 100, you know, I like to do that. That's a 100 mile race in October, 90, 90 degrees during the race, about 40, 50 miles in, it gets hard. That kind of felt like this type of training, but I was, I'm not really training for that type of race. So the thing I learned is that I got to get up early just like I do throughout the week. I got to wake up early and I got to beat the heat. Otherwise, I get stuck in it, you know, and I wake up at four every weekday. Try to every weekday and I get out running at five. And by then, it's nice and cool. So the heat isn't something I deal with very often. But the weekends, I like to sleep in, get the extra rest, kind of recover. And um, that kind of hurt me this weekend. This weekend kind of turned into... Uh, uh, heat weekend, you know, heat training weekend, and that was it was what it what what that's not what it was about. So I kind of did that to myself, you know. So you know that's what I learned is that I got to get up early and I've got to, you know, just take it all in stride. You know, I hit 68 miles this week should be it was supposed to be 70, but um, I'm not where I, I was before mileage wise, fitness wise. So it's still good, and I um, went out and I I, I did my um, workout that I was supposed to do. I had a really great workout on Wednesday, the track, and I was just feeling a little tired and a little drained today. So like I said, these things happen and it's more about effort at this point. You know, it's about getting the feel. How does it feel to be out there a little uncomfortable, you know? Once it gets closer to the to the race goal, that's when you want to work on the specific mechanics. Like I'll probably have, boom, it's got to be around, you know, 710 to 715-ish pace wise you know on these types of long runs something a little moderate you know but for now it's just getting the feel of it and getting the time out there it took about a hour 47 so you know some good training you know i hope to have some other uh training talks coming up here soon um but that's where it's at at training this week uh recap i ended up with 68 miles uh 14 mile long run and i hit about uh about just about 12 miles on my 
track workout this week and the rest of it was all easy miles you know all easy miles just getting in the repetition just getting in the reps the miles easy pace easy recovery runs when i felt good i sped up a little bit but it was mainly easy okay so this coming week i've got um some more workouts and i'll hopefully be keeping you guys um let you guys see about that this is my first time that i'm documenting the training process uh, again i'm training for a boston qualifier in albuquerque in october and one of those stepping stones along the way is the half uh <clears throat> the high mountain half marathon august 6th i hope to get a 124 to 128 and hopefully that'll put me in the ballpark to boston qualify again for a sub three hour half marathon okay so i'll let you guys know how that's going thank you for watching those so far okay the run itself, I started out about 7.20 to 7.30ish per mile. Got hot and that energy got zapped. You know, I was just turned on to a hang on and survive type of run. I use my one and only gel here, you know. GU Roctane, I used that about six miles in. I didn't take no water, you know, I didn't take no water. So about eight miles in, I turned around. That's when the heat started picking up. That's when the fatigue set in, you know, due to the heat. And that's when I kind of just turned into just hanging on for dear life. So I called it at about mile 14, slowed down to about eight minutes per mile. And after that, um, the benefits of the run, were gonna just go down and down and down, you know. You know, there's a point where the benefits of the run it peaks like that and that's when you want to stop that's when it starts going downhill that's when you know you're kind of doing more damage you're doing more harm than good in those type of situations you know so so it's about embarrassing the body slightly in training that's how you get stronger that's how you get better you have to do something that slightly embarrasses the body but you're not really kind of not really what you're ready for you got to do that to it and if you embarrass it too much you, you damage yourself you know, I was hurting and I was tired, I was dehydrated. So if I said, oh, 20 more miles, you know, that, that'll really be a good dose, you know. No, 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 I don't want, I still want to run tomorrow, okay? So I want something that's gonna slightly embarrass my body, but nothing that's gonna hurt me where I can't do more next week, you know? And my body will, you know, that's the, that's the, that's the general idea of training. It'll adapt to what I ask of it. So next time I go out for a long run, my body will if i let it recover and i train properly it's going to prepare my body's going to prepare itself to handle a little more next time okay so that's the um key with it is just making it appropriate you know i believe that was appropriate for me today i kind of challenged myself a little too hard that was you know but but um that's how it goes okay so that's how the run went itself i ended up 14 miles and um 147 about 738 pace so today that was good enough